But it's Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're going to take a look at a very simple, easy way of stopping Windows from installing drivers that you don't necessarily want it to install. Now, this is going to be really, really useful for those of you that are using either NVIDIA or AMD graphics cards, or possibly perhaps if you've got a motherboard with an AMD chipset, this seems to be the one which does cause a lot of problems, and especially for those of you that are using integrated graphics. So let's head over to the computer and I'll show you exactly how it's done. It's extremely simple, very easy to do, and can potentially prevent you having all kinds of weird issues with your system, such as blue screens of death, or just your PC not working as intended. So this is straightforward enough to do on your Windows desktop, Windows 10 or Windows 11, doesn't really make much difference, right click on the Windows start flag, go into system, you'll be greeted by this main page, go into this one here, advanced system settings, and you'll get this pop up. So click on the hardware tab of the system properties dialog box, and this is the one that you want. So device installation settings. So we have the option to choose whether Windows downloads manufacturers apps and custom icons that are available for your devices. Now what they've actually omitted from there is drivers as well. So click on device installation settings and we have two options. So yes is the recommended one. So this will automatically install drivers and we've got this one here, no. So your device might not work as expected or potentially your device will work absolutely perfectly when you install the drivers yourself. So when you're happy, click on save changes and that is effectively it. You can restart your computer, remove any drivers that you have which have been erroneously installed and then you can go ahead and install your drivers manually whenever needed. So there you go, very easy, very quick, very simple to do and can potentially save you from an awful lot of headaches. Again, especially for those of you using AMD APUs, those seem to be the most problematic ones where the WHQL driver sometimes conflicts with the adrenaline software. Anyway, hopefully this video has been helpful. If it has, smash the like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and the turn notification. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.